And one more thing you forgot. A lot of white people died to keep black people enslaved. And what I mean by obstacles placed in front of people, there are no laws out there saying that a white man cannot hurt a black person. But there are laws out there that says black people can't even look at white people. And these laws are still on the books in some of these uh, states. So please, I don't want to debate on color because I have no problem with people of color. I have the problem with the elite. And I have a problem with some people not thinking that things are as bad as some people say they are. And what I said earlier in the video I did before this one is, I look on life based on a perspective, my perspective. I look at everything that everybody's gone through, and I apply that to myself. And that's why when I say, white people who complain, because like you said, I didn't say anything about Mexicans. I see white people complain about Mexicans. I hear white people complain about Mexicans. I'm not talking about you per se. I'm talking about white people in general. Because when I first heard your first video, you stereotyped a lot. You spoke of black people in general. You didn't speak of just one person. You spoke of generalizing everybody. So if you generalize white people, then what do you get? For the most part, you see a bunch of people who don't like other people. A bunch of people who think they are elite. That's what you get. Not every white person is the same. Not all white people are like that. I never once said all white people are like that. And some white people out there fail to realize that they benefited from slavery. They still benefit from slavery. And yes, there are obstacles out there placed against minorities. And if you can't see them, then you're stupid. And I see these little smart-ass little remarks you're making on your little side whips there. I don't give a fuck, dude. This is it. Chapter closed. You're the child here, not me. I have seen way more than that you will ever see. And I know your perspective is fresh. People shouldn't think that way. You started this, not me. You commented on me commenting on something else I commented on. You brought this on. If you can't see the plight of yourself, don't say that I'm generalizing white people. I can say some foul ass shit about white people and it'd be sensible and it'd be a thousand, a million, a billion black people out there understand exactly what the fuck I'm saying. And I can say something negative about black people and it'd be a whole bunch of white people out there agreeing with me. The fact that I know exactly where I stand and where I can sit and what I can do and what I can and cannot do, that separates me from everybody else. You cannot pigeonhole me and make me look like some black person that hate white people because I do not hate white people. I give them the respect they give me. And if they don't respect me, they talk down to me condescendingly, I can break their ass off in the same manner. And that's what hurts most white people. When you speak to them on the same level in which they stand on and you do not flinch in one way when you say something, that hurts them because you don't bow down, period, to no man, regardless of what color he is. And some white people can't handle that. When someone stands up to them and looks at them and gives them what they've been given, they don't want to see it. They don't want to hear it, and they cannot believe that this person has the audacity to stand at their level and speak the same words in which they taught me to speak. Please. Theoretically, I can because I will myself to. I do because I need to. I will when I want to. I can because I am man. The father of all creation. Please. Do not play. In the wrong playground. For you'll find yourself alone. Playing with yourself. Wondering why you're by yourself. Forsaking yourself. Because of yourself. Those who have played in the playground by themselves end up by themselves. The sandbox is big enough for everybody to play in. But some of those don't want to share the toys that create process, that create progress, that create individuality, 
that creates power, that creates will, that creates love, that creates freedom. Some of those who play in the sandbox don't even want to see those who don't have the same toys, the same value systems, the same. And in some cases, the same is money. The same is the financial means not to need. The same is the financial needs to get in that sandbox and make your own. Some of us don't have that power in the sandbox. Some of us don't get action and options to play with the toys. Some of us are not allowed to go into the sandbox. And that is a metaphor in which you need to figure out. As you stand on the outside, thinking that you're on the inside, forsaking someone who don't give a damn about you, who wears the same shade that you wear, but there's a difference between you and him. You are not him. He is not you. You are beneath him. And he is you. Hmm. Italian, French, black or white, German, whatever. Chinese, Swiss, what? The bottom line is this. We are not a race. We are a species. A race in itself is a label. If you can see through what I'm saying, you can see what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. The only people who have equality are those willing to be equal. There will not be equality for those who try to have what the others have, forsaking what someone else has. I can move Martin Luther on you if you want me to. I can break it down. I can make it clear. And I can say it real simple. There is no race when everything is based on economic status. The haves and the have-nots. And when you say you're tired of hearing black people complaining, what I'm trying to tell you is, why are these people complaining? And if you find out why they complain, you can see a reason for yourself to complain also. But you can't see behind that, because these people who complain are slowing your progress down. Oh, these black people always complaining. Oh, blacks complaining. I'm supposed to be battling the trash man right now, but instead I'm trying to battle somebody who's going to sit down and write everything that I'm saying down and try to pick at it. You can pick me all day, but the scab won't heal. You can try all you want, and it won't prove nothing. The true equality lies within me. Ain't nothing equal about you. You can't even see beyond yourself. Oh, I'm part Indian. I'm part Italian. I'm, I'm part Chinese, Indian, black, whatever. I'm part of the dirt. I'm California, baby. I'm Californian. I'm from the Republic of California. The world of California. I am a human being. I'm not black. I'm not white. I am me. You. You, my little friend. Are exactly what I just said you are you're trying you need to find out who you are before you try to challenge who I am a mini moon I've stood in a many hot summer's day I've ran and I'm still here I've heard stories about stories about stories about everything that you thought you've ever known things that you are not even things that you haven't gone through yet I've already been through so you can't young man question me or my authenticity in anything I'm saying because I've been there I've done that I've seen it I lived it don't question someone's challenges and voyages just understand you don't want to go on that same ride and like I said, because I've wasted 40 minutes on you, you've been tubed the end.